people everywhere are calling on Congress to do something. We focused on three key changes that gun control advocates are calling for. Our political analyst John Keller has been talking with his sources to see what the odds are that any of these will gain traction. John, let's start with the background checks uh, on gun buyers. There are no background checks in Texas. The federal bill is H.R. 8. Where does that stand in Washington? Well, it's been more than a year, Lisa, since the House passed the Bipartisan Background Checks Act, which would require private gun sellers to check the background of a buyer. Eight of the 220 House Republicans voted for it, but there is no apparent Republican support for it in the Senate. And two Democrats, Kirsten Sinema of Arizona and Joe Manchin of West Virginia, are also opposed, so that's going absolutely nowhere, Lisa. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, a ban on assault weapons like the weapon that was used in Texas. Gun control advocates say we need a ban on assault weapons. How about that? Well, we had a ban, right. you may recall, back in 1994, and multiple studies showed that it did have some positive impact, but it expired in 2004, and efforts to reinstate it since have failed. There was another attempt in Congress after the Sandy Hook massacre 10 years ago, where 20 children aged 6 to 7 were slaughtered, but it failed to get the 60 votes necessary to overcome a filibuster in the Senate, as did yet another effort to require background checks nationwide. Four Republicans, Lisa, did support what was pitched as bipartisan legislation, but four Democrats from pro-gun states voted no. Since then, nothing has even come to the floor for a vote. Okay, so no action on that. Nope. Massachusetts is one of the states that does have a red flag law, and that's a law that allows family members or police to petition a court to remove a gun from someone who's considered a dangerous to himself or to other people. Do you think we could see a national red flag law? Short answer, no. Most of the 19 states that have red flag laws passed them after the Parkland school massacre in 2018. It's hard to keep all these massacres apart, isn't it? Uh, including Florida, where that occurred. But the momentum fizzled, and no national red flag measure has ever made it to the floor of Congress. So the short answer is no change. Nothing happening. All right, John, thank you.